where I grabbed the 65 or 70 inch, I don't think that's 75. All right, a few picks over here at one of my favorite compactors. Let's go ahead and pull on up and go in for a quick little, little look about here. There's at least a gas can on the ground over here. It's a really nice table. I'm gonna grab that table. Probably those car mats, a couple bean bags, old vacuum, old pot and pan, couch, mattress, gas can potentially, too old. Trash can sheets, boxes. That would have been nice. Big Joe over there. All right, folks, was able to grab that table in the back. We got it right back there. That's gonna be a nice outdoor patio table. That is definitely more higher end than the one I had with composite board. Cheaper composite board, kind of like Ikea type of a wood to it. That really warps here in Colorado with the seasonal changes. This one is metal down below on the bottom and then the top is actually natural wood. Maybe put a little stain or lacquer on there to make it look a little bit darker but definitely a nice pickup. Thank you, Lord, for that. That's great for the back porch, back deck, putting your coffee mug on. Very nice. I was thinking about taking the car mats, but unfortunately they got rained on, so they were pretty wet. Not to mention they kind of smelled a little bit like cat pee on there a little bit too. So I was like, eh. One of them, one set was all weather and another set came from a stock Camry. I don't know what year the Camry was, but remember, I recently found those F-150 brand new from a 2021 F-150 black mats. So I'll incorporate those. Nice box spring here. All right, coming back around, let me set up the shot real quickly here. There's a really nice solid wood coffee table here that I want to get the shot. Let's go ahead and pull on up and take a little closer look at it here with, uh... so we got this nice table here. That's actually a really nice table, nice top to it. And then these cool little nightstand cabinets. I think those are really cool. The coffee table is really nice. I think I'm gonna skip it, but that's like a coffee table that you would see in like a really high-end home. Real fancy. The top of it was beautiful. I mean, that's solid wood. Nightstands, you could stain a little darker color, but overall, very nice. All right, a really few nice things at my um, favorite compactor. So we're gonna grab a parking spot. We're gonna go in. It's a little drizzly right now. A couple wood products, so we need to grab something. We need to grab it quick. military boots Let's see if we can see a size on those 12s a little too big for my style trash somebody got themselves a really nice graphics card 360 ti um this little shelving unit thing kids thing oh nice umbrella a little ripped at the top not really actually i already have one but that's actually decent if I needed a second umbrella. What do we got here? Some bed slats. Wood bed slats, natural wood. Coat rack, which that's kind of cool actually. Doesn't that go the other way or vice versa? Um, some Ikea slats and a wooden dresser drawer. Not bad, a few picks there. We're looking good. There was actually a big moving van next to the compactor. That was a uh, someone's business. It was a junk removal. So I'm wondering if they're using their apartment privileges to dump out some stuff that they junk removaled. Hey, that might mean some better products being set aside. Now I'm gonna go across the street into the really fancy dancy neighborhood where homes are about the prices of California. And I did see a curb alert I'm interested to see what was set out on the curb. There was also another little inlet I saw driving by that had a big roll-off dumpster. This community is really wealthy, and this is where I actually uh, got at a garage sale. I got um, my smartwatch I'm wearing right now. I got it at a garage sale uh, down here somewhere. Big roll-off dumpster, nothing there. So I'm just going to go to the end of the cul-de-sac and do a little loopy around. So we have a house for sale and then we have one for rent with a nice planted tree right in the front that's nice nice neighborhood just saw two houses right next to each other for sale different than the ones i was just talking about literally i pulled out and you have two next door to each other for sale 
Okay, I'm coming up on the curb alert here. I won't raise the, no, that's not a curb alert. If that was a curb alert, that would be a really good curb alert. That is a drop off of a lot of wood and cement in front of somebody's house. You're like, Chris, houses are for sale, who cares? Well, the only reason I'm saying that is because the market has shifted. It's gone from a seller's market a month ago to now a buyer's market. I personally believe that there's gonna be a flooded inventory of houses and hopefully pre-owned vehicles as well because I'm in the market for a pre-owned vehicle. My brother is a realtor and he's talked with other realtors in Colorado and I believe this is happening in California as well. There's just been a slowdown with interest rates rising, inflation, people are a little worried about the stock market, crypto market. So the looseness of the spending is a little bit tightened. So anyway, just some things to learn about, research about if you are in the market to buy a home, potentially, it could be a buyer's market where you can get a better deal than you could. And same thing with a used automobile. Well, somebody likes a lot of monster sodas. Solid wood though. And then some metal bed thing bombers here. And then what I thought was a television is just some shelving. Okay, so there is a set of cans right next to me over here. That has a bunch of furniture. Let's go see what's up. Folks, we got the big monster 65 inch. That might even be a 70 inch, I don't know quite yet. It's massive. Let's go ahead and cruise up here real quick. We got a vacuum, trash can. Where I grabbed the 65 or 70 inch, I don't think that's 75. It's a TCL Ruku. My guesstimate, didn't look like it was cracked. My guesstimation is that a board went out. A lot of those Ruku TVs, a board goes out, power supply, very inexpensive to fix. And you have yourself five 70 inch fully up and running. Obviously no remote control, but it came with the power cord. Looking good in my book. There was actually another set of cans that looked like it had a few items, but ice cream truck and a lot of kids were around. So we'll skip out on that one. Kind of a few things you could dig through. But that set's been pretty good. Very quiet on the end of the complex and be able to pick it real nice. Now with that said, the reason I even grabbed that 65 inch or 70 inch is because I found another one. I forgot what model it was. Might even be the same model that I think is cracked. So if it's the same model, I'll just swap the parts out and bada bing bada boom, got myself a working television. I'll keep you updated about that one. Well, if you guessed it, that 65 inch TLC Roku TV is smashed to the McGillicuddy's. Good news is it works, means the backlights work, all the boards work, it's just smashed. Which means parts inside are good, so I can either resell those, swap those out to another TV to get another TV working, and recycle the rest. Once again, that dresser is still there, solid wood, but better than that is a uh, older plasma TV right over here. I'm just gonna creep up on it real quick and see uh, what the condition is. Has a TV stand. Let's see here, yeah, let's look up. Panasonic 50 inch plasma. It was a thinner plasma too. That's uh, probably, you know, 2012, 2013, somewhere right around there. I got plenty of televisions, don't need another 50 inch. So we will let someone else that needs a spare TV and 50 inches, sure, you know, smart one. You could probably pick up a TCL 50 inch for like 175 bucks brand new. Facebook Marketplace, that would flip for 60, 70 bucks. I didn't think we were gonna see so many flat screen TVs so soon, but that's super nice. Cord was wrapped up real nice. I almost guarantee that thing works. That's been a good complex. But now we're going to one of my favorite compactors. All right, there's somebody actually there throwing away trash right now. I saw a tire. I'm pretty sure he's throwing away trash. Let's see. Oh no, he has a, okay. We might actually be back. Okay, he's actually putting a lot of stuff down. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna slip on back. 
so it's gonna be a little out of the way. We're gonna have to backtrack a little bit, but I think it might be worth it. So, first thing he put down on the ground was a cricket paddle, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I haven't really seen too many people play cricket around here. And it looked like it was still in the wrapper and he literally put it around the corner. I literally saw him drop it for someone to take. And then he lifted his trunk and there were a lot of boxes. I don't know if the boxes were trash. We're gonna come back and 